Okay, welcome back. For those of you who know me or if you've been following the show for a while, you guys know I'm very big on Instagram. Uh, I'm always keeping you guys updated, showing you behind the scenes on Instagram stories. So I was pretty shocked when I've started to get some text and it's been coming up in conversation about a new app that's better than Instagram. They're calling it the Instagram Killer. And right now, it's number one on Apple's list of the top free apps. This app is called Vero, Vero app. And suddenly it's giving social networking sites like Facebook and Instagram a run for its money. So when I, someone texted me yesterday, one of my friends, and they asked, hey, are you on Vero? I know you're big on Instagram. And I was like, wait a minute. So I started doing some research, and I posted this question on Twitter. It's a survey question. And I asked people what they think of it. I said, I'm learning about Vero, the alternative to Instagram. What do you guys think? 75% of the people were like, what the heck is that? They had no idea what it was. And then 15% said, no way it compares. And 10% say, it's better than Insta. Some people also messaged me, and they were saying, well, it still has some bugs and things that need to be worked out, but it has potential. So we wanted to bring in a tech expert. This is Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Hi, good morning. And just in case if you're wondering about Tiffany's credentials, she was named one of the 15 women changing the face of technology by the Philadelphia Business Journal. So she knows what she's talking about. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So you are also big on Instagram. I am. I love Instagram. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and so you started to do research on Vero. So you're going to tell us the pros and cons of right. this new app. But it's been around for a little bit. Three years. Okay. It launched in 2015. So been three years. 2018, just this past week, it started to, you know, get some popularity and been number one. And why do you think that is? Is it because the algorithms have been changing on yeah. Instagram? So basically the, the exciting thing that you had when you started Instagram and Facebook, no ads, no algorithms, they're bringing it back with Vero. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is Vero. You're going to demonstrate it for us live. Yes. Yeah, so this is what you see when you first come to the app compared to Instagram you don't see your actual feed you only see what you actually post so this is your kind of profile I guess yes. we can call it right so now. this is my profile mm -hmm. posting you know Fox 29 talking Black Panther go see it a couple times so what I like about it it definitely has like a tumblr s type of Facebook where you see your picture whatever you post and you kind of can put different things on top of the picture instead of under the picture, which is kind of cool. So almost like an Instagram story is where you can put words on top of the picture exactly. when you're doing that. So okay. it feels like a little of a blog post. And then you can go and search. And this is different because you put watch now. Right. You can post links. Because on Instagram, you can't. You have to say, oh, click the link in my bio. But with this, you can post that as a post. Exactly. So if I clicked here or actually go to nice. your website, which is kind of cool. So I'm like, all right, I can show you different links that I want you to read about. So that's cool. And then something similar to Instagram, if you go to the search, you're able to actually look at different things, your bio, stuff like that. And then if you go to search, you're able to see what Vero's talking about right now, so different hashtags, and something you a little You can see different. what's trending, which yeah. you can't do on Instagram. You just yeah. search for a particular hashtag. Exactly. Okay. So that helps. I hear there's an age range for this, though. Yeah, 21 to 40. So that's actually why. Normally, most social media, you start with tweens. Right. Now they're starting with actual millennials and young adults. He wanted the founder, as he talked about when he did the interview, mm -hmm. he really wanted to focus on adults, a little LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, slash... Yeah. <laughs> now, another interesting thing I thought, because um, a lot of times you follow people and they're always in your feed. You may not want to know yeah. everything about their lives. You can kind of rank people. Oh, yeah. you're getting Instagram notifications. <laughs> too funny. Right. But you can rank you people. Like, this is my close friend. Whenever they post something, I want to see it as right. opposed to, this is an acquaintance. I don't want to see all that. Exactly. So you're able to break it down in four categories. So you look at the connections. Not a lot of my friends are on right. Vero yet. So one of my good friends, Atifa, if I want to go to her, I can make her an acquaintance or I can make her a close friend or oh. a friend or something like that where you can break it down compared to Instagram, you're either private or you're public. Right, mm -hmm. but I like that, so you can choose what you're seeing. Right. All right, now we talked about the good things. What are some of the cons really quickly, because I know we're running out of time. So some of the cons would be like when you go to your dashboard, you definitely have to have your first name or last name. You can't have a username. Oh. Obviously, you can make up something, but they really want you to treat it like a professional network. Use your government name. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. The name your mama gave you. <laughs> exactly. All right, and then what else? And and the second thing would be, you know, it's only less than five years old, so it's still new. So, you're, you know, social media apps go away very quickly. Right. So we don't know if we should be too excited about it. Because yet. you don't know how long it's going to stay around. Exactly. It might be a fad. Okay. And third thing would be they're going to start charging oh, a fee. What? A fee. Yes. Now, I, I have to draw the line because Instagram is free. Free. Unless but, you have advertising. But yeah. for now, it's free. It's but free. eventually, they're going to. Right. After a million users. And they're getting close to that. So I don't know what that fee is going to be. I was going to say, how much we're talking? They say small. Okay. But what's considered small to me may not 
be considered small to them. Right. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay. And because of their new popularity, they've been having a lot of tech issues. So, you know, millennials were like, if it's not working, we're I'm, go I'm going back to Instagram. Okay. So getting on and off for the last couple of days has been kind of difficult. They keep saying server issues. Mm -hmm. So if they don't fix that, they're going to lose a lot of users. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you, Tiffany, for thank walking you. us through this. It sounds like maybe if you want to download it just in case, you'll have it for free right. exactly. until they uh, start charging. And then I guess if it gains popularity, go we'll see. We'll drop see. Instagram. Back and forth. I'm just going to stick. Could you link it to Facebook and Twitter? That's the only way you're able to actually share that you have an account. Since right. there's no feed, there's you have to say, hey, I'm on Vero on Facebook yeah. or on Instagram. Some people might be posting on Instagram, hey, check out my Vero. I just got right. it. Yeah. So it's slowly getting there. It's, it's new. That's right. Thank we you. We like too. new stuff. Thank you. Yeah. It. Uh, speaking I think of I'm new, sticking with Instagram. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. You're switching, Mike? You, you Did you, you have an account? Yeah, I've already done it because it's free. <laughs> <laughs> For right now. Well, then let me get on it. Hold on.